Hi. Hello, what is up? How are we all doing? I am super excited for today's video. As you can see in the title, I'm going to be dressing up like TV show characters for a week. Kennedy Walsh, she's done it a few times, and I love her dressing up like a TV show character video. So I wanted to try it myself. I've had my characters in my notes for a couple months now, actually, but I'm just not doing it. Also, my allergies allergies. My allergies are a little rough right now because I'm in Utah. I was literally in Utah during Memorial Day weekend. It was super bad. I went to California for a week. My allergies immediately went away. I didn't have a stuffy nose, anything. I come back to Utah literally two days ago and they're already back. My allergies are already back. That's exciting. It is Monday, June 14th and I'm excited. I have picked five iconic TV show characters. I'm super excited actually. I went shopping for these characters multiple weeks ago. Let's just get right into it and start with our first character. I'm gonna have to shave. Can you guess who I am? I know. I know you can. That's because we're not done yet. Any final guesses before I tell you? Oh, I can't stick my leg up that far. Not the Trulies. I also need a chain, but I can't find it. Today I am dressing up as Austin Moon. I did my research on Austin Moon. His wardrobe, he's always either wearing a V-neck or a tank top. So anything that widens up the chest, although this V-neck isn't as stretchy as I thought it would be. And then he has some sort of button up over it that's rolled up like this or a bright colored leather jacket. He always has a few necklaces on. He always has a chain around his pants, which I can't find. But I've used one in my previous videos before. I don't know where it is. He has the black skinny jeans. Plus he always has some thick Osiris type shoes on. These are the bulkiest high top shoes that I have, and I also feel like Austin Moon would definitely wear these. And obviously you're thinking, Tyrell, you still don't look like Austin Moon. And that is because we still need to do the Austin Moon hair. When I thought of this idea, my hair has grown a little bit longer, so it's gonna be a little hard to make my hair look like Austin Moon. He always has, oh, <laughs> hi. And my roots have grown out far too much. Austin Moon's hair is definitely shorter than mine, so we're gonna have to try and work it to make it look shorter than it actually is. As I was looking, I found some where he has longer hair, and it's kind of parted to the side. Ah! Oh my god! Except it's not as curly as mine. I'm gonna attempt to create the most similar hair to Austin Moon that I possibly can. If I can pin up this blonde to make my hair look shorter, it might look a little bit better. My hair is just too long. If I did this look three months ago, maybe, then it would have worked out. I, I can, I see the vibe, but I'm looking like a 2007 scene kid and not awesome new. I'm trying to get as much blonde right here as I possibly can. Could I do that with bobby pins, maybe? That might work out, you guys, actually. Can I borrow some bobby pins? We got the bobby pins. See, like, it's so close to being there, I think. How does, how do you even use a bobby pin? Like, genuinely, how? Ow, that hurts my teeth. Ow, oh my god. But then I don't also want the bobby pin to show in the front, because that would just look silly. I don't know how to use a bobby pin. Ow. Wait, this might kind of be working. My hair's drying and it's getting frizzy. Maybe if I do it this way? How the hell do bobby pins work? Oh. Wait guys, I think I kind of did something there. Ow, open! Shit! I can get you hot beep 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 like- I did something. Kind of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really getting like late season Austin vibes. Come on now. I'm proud of myself. I think I did the best I could with my root growth and my hair length. I feel like I'm literally season for Austin Moon. People have called me Walmart Ross Lynch in the past, which I, I honestly take as a high compliment. So today I really brought in my true Walmart Ross Lynch. Aura. Aura? 
Aura, Aura, Aura. It's a really thin line between late season's awesome moon and just seeing kid. I can get your heart beat, 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 beat like. I can get your heart beat, beat like that. You know you got my heart beat, 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 beat like. Hey, 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 hey. I need to sag my pants more. He literally full on sags his pants. We're gonna completely ignore this is what the back of my hair looks like. Ah! Allie, I just thought of a melody. You wanna help me write our first song? No way. I love you, Allie. Flip a switch, turn on the lightning, get it right, show them how it's done. Free it up, no matter how you dress that song. Girl, you know, you got a number one. Go with it, you got them where you want them Drop the beat, they need to hear your sound Play it up, it's coming down to you right now They wanna know, know, know your name, name, name They want the girl, girl, girl with game, game, game And when they look, look, look your way, way, way You're gonna make, 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 make them do a double take Make them do a double take Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> That was exhausting to say the least. A few complications came up. My camera battery started to die right as I started to film the music video. I broke my mini tripod. My hair has gotten worse and worse minute by minute. Just drying up and frizzing up. So there's Austin Moon for ya. Welcome to day two. If you can't tell, I am Will Byers today. <laughs> Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows of all time. I decided to go with season three Will. This is his summer wardrobe. He does not match at all. Multiple different colors in his wardrobe. In a few scenes, he's wearing these type of short gym type of shorts, which I found in the women's section of a thrift store. And then he's wearing a long collared shirt like this. And I actually, to be honest, I I don't like this shirt. I feel like I would wear it in real life, obviously, with a different outfit. And then, in a few other scenes, he's wearing these really short jean shorts, which I also found at the thrift store. I'm gonna have to cut them more. And I also got this small collared shirt to wear with the jean shorts. I'm just wearing my long Nike socks. I know he's wearing striped socks with blue stripes that are long. I don't have that. Oh, I just did some Converse. I actually think that Will has wore Converse before. These Converse, as you can see, are very old and damaged, so it's very fitting for Will because most of his stuff is hand-me-downs from Jonathan. I got this wig from Amazon. I am messing with it every two seconds. I cut the top a little bit. Yeah, overall, I think I did pretty great. The first thing we're gonna do with Will Byers is make some breakfast, because I'm so hungry, and I'm not gonna lie, it's almost 3 p.m., so let's go eat breakfast. Do I look like Will Byers? Yeah. Yeah, you look like Will. Kind of kind of yeah. shit because the coconut on your head. Poor Noah Snap. He's like, can we please retire the wig? I think we're just gonna make some eggs. Maybe some tomatoes on top. Feta. <laughs> That's not the egg. I just We're gonna grab the salt and pepper, shake on there. Ooh. And what I do, it's kind of a trick. When you're making over easy eggs, instead of flipping them, you just simply cover it with a pan until the white gets all around. And then it's done perfectly every single time. I like mine to be a little bit more cooked than over easy. The yolk is still there if you pop it, but it's like a mix. You can still dip your toast in that yolk if you'd like. But ever since I found out this way, I've never gone back. I've never tried to flip a yolk again. It never breaks. I'm just gonna be adjusting this wig all day. Did you guys hear that? It's sizzling. We got our feta, we got our tomato, and when it's done, it literally just slides right onto the plate. Ah! How sexy is that? I would normally do avocado, but it seems as we don't have any. I really wish these were garden tomatoes. I'm just gonna quartet them, place the quartet tomatoes on the egg, like so. Then, 
I'm so obsessed with feta lately. Oh my. We're gonna sprinkle that feta on there. Cause it's so good. We were sexy sriracha. And there is the finished product. Oh. My mouth is on fire from the sriracha. <coughs> that was great. Now I'm eating some Doritos, some juice. It tastes like tangerine. Feeling 80s today. Now I just want to play some D and D. All my friends are in relationships now, and it's so gross. Since I literally got attacked by a demogorgon and taken into the upside down, I kind of lost my childhood. So now all my friends are grown up, and I didn't get to do that. So now I'm pissed. I'm going through a midlife crisis at age 13. I wanted to be the one to date my not L. It's coming. I can feel it. I still feel like it's a part of me. And that was my performance of the only thing that Will did during season three. I just want to play D&D. And my kid look at her like, no. We're grown men now. Get with the program. And Will's like, but I lost my childhood. All I can say is season four needs to come out ASAP. Wait. Uh. Here we have Will Meyer outfit number two. Go away! Go away! <laughs> Go away! It's coming. Mike? Mike, where are you? Mm. I think that's enough for today. <gasps> Are you ready, kids? Still got the Will Buyer shorts on. They're literally so comfy. Hello, welcome to day three. My brothers are so high pitched and loud. Stop! Anyway, the TV show character that I'm dressing up as today is from one of my all-time, will forever be all-time favorite shows. Throughout elementary school, I was this person. I literally feel like I was a human version of this person. So I'm gonna go shower, and then if you haven't guessed it yet, you'll see in a few seconds. I don't have the full fit on yet, but today I am dressing as SpongeBob SquarePants. Your shoes you weave in your purse If you're bad, believe that I'm worse You be online doing mad research Trying to cop some shit, you see me in first I'm just doing my natural hair today I could do a nerdy little middle part combed over to the side But then realistically, it would just get frizzy And then I have to re-wet it at some point To make it re-normalified And I just... Don't know if I have the energy for that. <laughs> We're just gonna go with our natural hair today. I've actually dressed up as SpongeBob before in an outfit similar to this. And I used a red tie, I know I did. It was like in eighth grade, so it was forever ago. But I have no idea where that red tie went. <laughs> but I found this thing. So I'm gonna see, maybe I can make it into like a little bow tie. Something of the sort. And then I'm gonna put on long socks and my black Converse, cause SpongeBob wears black shoes. Like how, how am I gonna make this work? Mm. Shit. How does that look? My hair is still drying. I feel like SpongeBob has, if I can find them. I literally have 50 million glasses in my backpack. Uh, there they are. They're probably destroyed like all of them are. I definitely feel like SpongeBob. I know he doesn't wear glasses, but I think the human version of SpongeBob should. These are, they used to have lenses in them. They don't anymore because they're broken. Okay, I think yet again, I am just going to go with a classic long Nike sock. I'm gonna look and see what color of socks he wears. I'm pretty sure they're just white. Okay, white socks with a blue stripe and a red stripe. I'm just gonna go with the classic white Nike sock because I don't have a white sock with blue and red stripes. Literally everything I'm wearing right now, I already have. Like I have just gotten from my home. This white shirt that I'm wearing, I got it at a thrift store in Florida. It has like patterns and it's more like beachy and tropical. So I wanted to add that today so SpongeBob could have a little fun. We have a literal gigantic thing of shoes right here, you guys. 
I know that my black Converse are just in here hiding somewhere. They're probably at the bottom because I don't wear them. I have the awesome moon shoes right here. We found one. Boom. Hopefully there is no spiders in these. I don't don't even remember the last time I've worn these. Not me breathing heavily like that was a... F <laughs> like that was something hard and strenuous to do. They still fit. That's good. As I'm tying my shoes, I just want to give a huge appreciation to the Spongebob like artwork and positioning. Everything in Spongebob is so like memeable because it's just so perfectly placed. Every single scene, especially in the older episodes, it's just fantastic. I could literally watch the older episodes over and over and over again. I literally have like four CDs set like each cd has eight episodes each in there oh we did it you guys i'm ready i'm ready another reason why i was so believably spongebob because i had a ginormous gap in between my teeth i do not have that anymore because of braces but there was a time in my life where i quite why is my bow tie messed up <laughs> excuse me i'm feeling good about this this one's very simple very simple things can go a long way Oh my god, I have to do laundry. Let's do that as Spongebob. Oh, should I add bleach? Maybe. Do we have bleach? Have bleach. Liquid bleach. There we go. Woo. And now we smell good. I'm so hungry right now. So let's have a snack. Today I'm going to make a salad from when Pearl took over the Krusty Krab, or as Spongebob likes to call it, a salad. I'm such a Spongebob nerd. <laughs> and here we have a salad. That actually made it in the trash can, wow. Wow. Basketball star. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready to eat some food! This smells so good, you guys. Hot, oh, hot though. It's really hot. Oh. 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 oh my god, it's so hot. But it's so good. Favorite Spongebob song? There's honestly too many. Let's do some fun karaoke. Two, three, four. Give me no, no. I was wrong, <coughs> and now you're gone. Bow, wow, 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 wow. Gary, I'm sorry I neglected you. Oh, I never expected you to run away and leave me feeling this empty. You're me out right now, it sounds like music to me. Please come home, cause I miss you, Gary. Gary, come home! Gary, come home! Gary, come home! <laughs> what can I say? This is probably so out of tune. Today is just me reliving my childhood. Hey, your shoes are looking cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It has been a few hours. Before we say goodbye to SpongeBob, I'm going to do a quick little story time about me, myself, and how I reached the top of the class. Oh my god, this is a lot of words, maybe not. Business was booming at the Krusty Krab. Hurry up with those Krabby Patties, yelled the owner, Mr. Krab. I'm a Krabby Patty machine, replied the fry, repli replied the fry cook, SpongeBob, that's me, who's working harder than ever to fill the many orders. Plankton, the evil owner of the Chum Bucket restaurant, watched from across the street. They have so many customers, he exclaimed. I must steal the secret Krabby Patty formula and put the Krusty Krab out of business. Plankton created a wonderfully evil plan. It started with a disguise. The next day, a tiny green salesman visited Mr. Krabs. Boy, do I have a deal for you, Mr. Krabs. This machine can make 5,000 Krabby Patties in a day, and you can try it out for free. Free? You've got a deal, said Mr. Krabs. Plankton's plan was working perfectly. He would teach SpongeBob to use the new machine and trick him into revealing the secret Krabby Patty formula. Take this textbook, instructed Plankton. Plankin? Plankton? Classes in Pattyology began tomorrow morning. Studying? Textbooks? Homework? 
cried SpongeBob. I love school. Why is there a fly in my room? Oh my god, I hate summer. But I also love summer. SpongeBob arrived at the school bright and early the next day. Who would like to answer the question on the board? Asked Plankton. Me, me, me! Shouted SpongeBob. He's literally the only person in the classroom. The answer is, it's a secret. This is gonna be harder than I thought, Plankton grumbled to himself. That's enough classwork, said Plankton. How would you like to try out the Krabby Patty? The Krabby Patinator 5000. Are you kidding? Screamed SpongeBob. Mr. Squarepants, please gather the Krabby Patty secret ingredients for me, said Plankton. I've already loaded the machine with the ingredients. I also woke up early and read the whole manual, declared SpongeBob. <laughs> what a great student he is. But Plankton's pest. Let's make sure the mixture is correct, Plankton said, peering into the Krabby Patty machine. Ah, here we go. Go, said SpongeBob, hitting the start button. Plankton literally is in the machine, not good. No, yelled Plankton as he fell into the Krabby Patinator 5000. Plankton was not Please. That's it. This isn't worth it. Class dismissed forever! Plankton pressed the button and the Krabby Patinator 5000 blew into pieces. Spongebob was dejected. His dreams of school had been shattered. No classes, no homework, and worst of all, no graduation. <laughs> Me, being the class of 2020. <laughs> Back at work, Spongebob found that his job seemed pointless. He could barely flip a single patty. Mr. Krabs wished he'd gotten his free machine, but even more, he missed having his speedy fry cook. Spongebob is the best fry cook to ever flip for the Krusty Krab, and he's better than any machine, declared Mr. Krabs. He had a plan. Mr. Squidward, get to work inviting all of Spongebob's friends here tomorrow. Why? <laughs> the way that was gonna go. We're going to give Spongebob the graduation he deserves, declared Mr. Krabs. The next day, all of Spongebob's friends came to the Krusty Krab. Congratulations, Spongebob. Based on your outstanding performance in the Krusty Krab kitchen, you have earned your first ever master's degree in fry cook mastery, announced Mr. Krab. Spongebob was happy to be a master of fry cook arts, and he was even happier to have the best friends in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Welcome to day four. Can't believe we're already almost done. Today, I'll just get right to it. I'm dressing up as another cartoon character. This show is also just one of my favorites. Here's a hint. Might not be that good of a hint. I have to go get my hair wet for this. <laughs> Talk about how long my hair is. I haven't round brushed my hair in so long. This is crazy. <laughs> like this grew out of my head. I don't even want to dress up. I just kind of like this vibe. Because I know that once I put the spray on, it's over. I feel like I at least need to take some pictures before. <laughs> right? No, because why is this something that I would actually wear? This makes me not want to put the red spray in it because I feel good about this outfit today. Meg Griffin knows what's going on. <laughs> Like, okay, Meg, do your fucking thing. <laughs> Meg is on top of all of you bitches. Cause this fit right here, she had the simplicity. She had the underestimation. I am now a Meg Griffin stan. I was before, but it has skyrocketed. I still haven't even put the picture on now. Like, like, no, I actually think that I have to do a photo shoot in this before I turn fully into Meg Griffin. Okay, I took all the photos I needed to. Why is it like my natural hair color? <laughs> I kind of hate that. What is going on? <coughs> Why does it look so real? I'm petrified right now. <laughs> I can't do this today. What does the back look like? <coughs> These are the most round glasses that I have. It's me, Harvey. <laughs> he growled. Harvey, it's me. It's me, Ty. Harvey is stressed out. It's me, I promise. He barked at me. Everyone hates Meg. My mom's in the bathroom. Let's see how she reacts. <coughs> I just threw up. Why? I think I drink too much water. I was like working out. And I was like, oh god, I'm going puke. Oh. I think this is the best one. 
Today, I'm dressed up like Meg Griffin from Family Guy, voiced by Mila Kunis. I got this beanie off Amazon. I got this shirt at the thrift store. And funny story, when I was looking for this shirt, I was just looking for a shirt, any shirt that would match this shade. It would be the same shade because as you know, Meg has the same shirt, beanie. It's, you know, the same with the white shirt under. And then she just has jeans and white sneakers like this. So I'm literally wearing an exact Meg outfit. This shirt, I'm from Utah, obviously. So when I was looking at this thrift store, I found this shirt and I was like, oh my God, it's the perfect shade. I turn it around to the back side. It's an LDS Temple shirt. But I, I was like, this is only $2. It's the perfect shade. So I don't care. I feel really good about this one. It seems today that all you see and huh, sex on TV I forgot the rest of the words. I look exactly like Mike Griffin right now. I truly don't know what else to do. I feel like I've just succeeded in life. That's something that Meg would do for sure. Hey, Thanks for being my photographer today. Okay. I literally just woke him up from an app to take photos of me. Those are great, thank you. Meg, it has truly been a blessed day being you. I've had a great time. I'm so sad to say goodbye to Meg. This is so heartbreaking. It was an honor, Meg Griffin. I'm John B. Hits the Outer Banks. Happy day four, five. It's the last day, oh my god. Today, I'm dressed as John B. From The Outer Banks. It is a series on Netflix, if you have not seen it. I was very late to The Outer Banks trend, actually. I did not see it until this year. It came out during like quarantine and everyone was freaking out about it during quarantine season. But I didn't see it until a few months ago. And that's kind of perfect for me because I did enjoy it and season two is coming out soon. So I didn't even have to wait that long. My hair is actually real today. I've actually completely dyed my hair in the length of this video. My hair is not blonde anymore, so it worked out perfectly for the last day for John P. I also trimmed it and I think we have pretty similar hair length. This shirt, everything I'm wearing today, I have already owned. This shirt is from day two of 2019 Coachella. Just a simple bandana tied around the neck. Have a band platform hat that I have not worn in at least six years. I'm just wearing some black cargo type shorts and some Converse. I could have worn my low top bands. He wears those as well. But this is basically the fit for John B. Now, The Outer Banks. The Outer Banks. It's a very, like, summery show, you know? Like, it's The Outer Banks. So, the first thing we're gonna do today as John B. <laughs> we're gonna go upstairs and get ourselves a popsicle and chill outside because it's The Outer Banks. And John B. from The Outer Banks. Yeah, like, his real face just doesn't give me that. But John B. He gives me that. Paradise on Earth. <laughs> it's the Outer Banks. Fuck. We're the Pogues. We're oppressed. <laughs> My dad is missing, but I know he's alive. He sent me a message. I don't know what it's like to have the person closest to you vanish. John B, we're a little bit alike. Okay, see, he doesn't have he doesn't have as much of this voice as I'm portraying, but I think it's funny. <laughs> he does it more natural. It's the Outer Banks. I'm from here. It's the Outer Banks. Me and our friends got a hippie van and we're the Pogues. We are the lower class. Uh, haha. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's it. Maybe I need a more clear. Earlier I had kind of a raspy tone, but now if I'm more clear, maybe I sound more like John B. I need to be more tan. I was tan a few days ago, not anymore. <laughs> I'm just watching the 2020 trailer. <laughs> yeah, everyone made John B to be out the bad guy, but he really wasn't. And everyone, he was a, he was, he was a fugitive. I'm thirsty. 
Let's go get a popsicle. I'm thirsty. Wanna come with me, pugs? <laughs> We're together. We're a group, man. Fuck, what are the rich people called? I forgot. What are the rich people called in Outer Banks? The kooks! <laughs> We're the pokes. But I'm gonna fall in love with a kook. <laughs> he totally did the bandana better than me, but he had a team full of stylists, and I just have myself. John B from the Outer Banks got a tank full of money under the sea. Is it the sea or is it just a lake? I don't remember if it's by the ocean. Madeline Klein, my true lover in real life, is my lover in the show. Um, I also didn't tie my Converse because he did not have his tied. Summer nights, man. Yo, JJ, wanna go surf? <laughs> so off. But I'm just still going with it. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck, bro. That is bizarre. We are the pokes. We, we've been through... We've been through so much. So if we just stick together... And and find the treasure. I know we can do it because we've been together since pre-K. John B, if 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 Sarah's here, then I'm leaving the Pogues. It's either me or her. Why does it have to be this way? Why? I don't know what to do. I've known Kiara, I guess that's her name, my whole life. Two peas in a pod. She's been with the Pogues forever. But on the other hand, Sarah, who is part of the kooks. <laughs> but she's not a true kook. We had a great night together. You two girls need to make up and get over your little past drama because I simply can't choose. Look how pretty the clowns look. They just look very extra fresh and clear and crisp today. Oh no! because it's the Outer Banks. We have reached the end of the video. It was such a blast dressing up as TV show characters for a week. I would definitely do it again. Let me know if, oh my God, my eyes is itchy, sorry. Oh my God. Let me know which other TV show characters you would like to see me do, or if you even want a part two. Um, if you don't, <laughs> it's fine. Just let me know that as well, I guess. Just be like, hey, I kind of hated this video, and I don't want another one, and then I'll, and I'll get that. Let me know which character was your favorite. We did five characters, and now, it's time for me to go. Because it's the Outer Banks. We, we, got, we got to always keep things moving in the Outer Banks. Um, so, it's been a great time. Made wonderful memories. Really lived, because if you're you're not living, you're you're dying. You're just existing. Fuck them kooks, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.